Welcome to Know It All, a place to connect with researchers to answer all questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more. This episode on Who is Marshall McLuhan was created for you by Aiden. In this topic, Know It All will answer. Who was Marshall McLuhan? What was McLuhan's primary focus in work? What does the medium is the message mean? What is a global village? Marshall McLuhan was a Canadian philosopher, scholar and professor who made significant contributions to the field of media studies. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential thinkers in communications theory and his ideas were revolutionary for their time. Born Herbert Marshall McLuhan on July 21, 1911 in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, he began his post-secondary education by studying at University College Dublin before eventually gaining admission into Cambridge University where he earned both an undergraduate degree, 1933, and doctorate, 1942. His work focused primarily upon literature but soon shifted towards developing theories about how communication affects society through different forms of technology such as television or radio broadcasts. McLuhan argued that these new mediums had vast potential to shape public opinion due to rising popularity among audiences from around the world which would culminate with him coining terms like global village or the medium is message. He published several works throughout career including Understanding Media, The Extensions of Man, 1964, Counterblast, 1969, Through the Vanishing Point, Space in Poetry and Painting, 1968, and War and Peace in the Global Village, 1968. McLuhan's influence became so profound it even spawned schools of thought named after him, McLuhanism, which focus heavily upon understanding how emerging technologies reshape culture while also exploring implications of the use of censorship, political control, etc. It seems unlikely we will ever see another figure quite like this inspiring individual whose impact continues to resonate today even long after passing away December 31, 1980, age 69 years old. The phrase the medium is the message has come to define a large part of modern media studies and communications. It was first coined by McLuhan in his 1964 book Understanding Media, The Extensions of Man. This idea suggests that every form of communication carries its own inherent biases, values or messages depending on what it's used for and how people interpret it. At its core, the medium is the message means that any particular platform we use, such as books versus television shows, will have an impact on our thoughts and feelings about whatever information they contain even if their content remains constant across channels. For instance, someone who reads a magazine article may process the same facts differently than someone listening to a podcast episode discussing those same topics because each source presents different clues, images and audio quality, which influence our interpretation of them, cueing us into certain tones or opinions within said material without actually changing anything else besides format. This concept can be broken down further when considering digital platforms like social networks with integrated advertising strategies, their ability not just to present but also actively shape conversations around brands highlights another layer where this saying comes into play, whereby one must consider more than simply the words being conveyed in order to achieve full comprehension. Because these sites often provide additional context through imagery slash video slash links etc., it pushes viewers towards specific conclusions beyond mere text alone due to both intrinsic design layout style changes from site to site as well user-driven trends based upon personal identity expression by profile pictures, and so much more. Allowing users to create communities built around shared beliefs means that there's no need to parse language nuances anymore. Instead, focus now shifts onto experience itself, leaving room for massive manipulation opportunities. Giving an opportunity to marketers and others to capitalize unseen potentials lurking inside unassuming buttons, clicks, or scroll wheel actions. Making the end result of the time you spend within these communities a much bigger picture of usable data that can then be transferred to a consumer device. Which begs the question, what am I really signing up for here? Am I truly aware of all the implications coming my way while using service? Or better yet, what political views could be buried somewhere in the code, algorithm or behind the interface that I'm viewing on this screen at this very moment? In other words, think before you act in order to make the best informed decision possible rather than following a crowd blindly, or going along with the flow society dictates. This is why the medium is the message is such an important adage to remember nowadays in our age of technology. In the 1960s, McLuhan coined the term global village to describe our increasingly interconnected world. According to McLuhan, advances in communication technology were driving us towards a new type of global community where everyone could be connected instantly through electronic information networks. The concept of a global village implies that all people are linked together as if they lived in one small unified town or neighborhood. In this way, events occurring across large distances become immediately accessible for anyone with access to modern technologies such as television or internet chat rooms. 
This allows for instantaneous mass exchange between different cultures regardless of physical proximity and creates unprecedented opportunities for international collaboration on projects ranging from research initiatives to business endeavors. McLuhan believed that by eliminating distance barriers due to technological advancements it would eventually lead humanity into an era characterized by greater understanding among peoples separated by language and culture differences throughout history. A global village, in McLuhan's eyes, would essentially erase boundaries that divide countries around the globe like never before seen. Furthermore, he argued decades ago how even though we may appear divided geographically speaking these divisions have been largely overcome because now everybody is just a few clicks away. This is evidence today via video calls slash conferencing, virtual classrooms etc. allowing us unique insights into perspectives which otherwise weren't available while also providing valuable cultural exposure, something that is essential in forging lasting peace amongst nations over time. Thus ultimately bringing about true unification worldwide, a more harmonious earth so to speak. Thank you for listening. For more answers to questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more, don't forget to subscribe to know it all.